This is Top Warner Cable's local edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz and we are joined by Syl Orlando. He is the executive director of the Optimus Youth Homes and Family Services, which is what? Which is one of the oldest and largest child welfare organizations in Southern California. Uh, we began way back in 1906 mm -hmm. uh, with five kids and today we're serving uh, over 500 children and their families at risk youth. Uh, each and every day in a multitude of programs, and all which are nationally accredited. Sure, and let's say. talk about those programs because there are many. There are many. Uh, you have in-residence facilities. Tell yes. us about those children. We have, um, we serve 123 probation youngsters mm -hmm. from throughout the state of California, all referred through probation departments. Um, 97 of those are on a main campus in Highland Park. Mm -hmm. And the other 24 are in six-bed community-based group right. homes throughout uh, the county. And how would a child wind up at your facility? He uh, would have to go through court. Mm -hmm. The judge assigns what's called a suitable placement order. Mm. And then the probation department chooses the agency that they think will best meet the needs of the child. But what's so interesting about that campus is you have two schools on that campus. We do. Right. Uh, we are actually the only uh, campus or the only agency in the state right. that has a non-public school, a special ed high school, right. and a charter school, which we just opened in September, mm -hmm. Uh, specializing in foster care and probation youth. So how would one kid go to the non-public side and one kid go to the charter side? Explain the difference. Sure. Uh, actually, to go to the non-public uh, side, you have to be qualified through an IEP process sure. for a non-public school, and the school district has to do that qualification. The charter school is essentially an alternative to public school. So all kids who don't qualify for the non-public are eligible for the charter school. And so are all the children who go to these schools, are they living on campus, or they can come from other areas as well? Right now, all the kids are living on campus and are living in our group homes. So you also have foster kids living in various homes like you just suggested, yeah. but then you have outpatient. Uh, talk to us about the outpatient Yeah, facilities. about 10 years ago, um, we opened our first uh, mental health clinic in Los Angeles, and we have a, even a larger one out in Palmdale. And this is where families can come in with their youngsters when they're first beginning to have problems mm -hmm. with their kids, and it's a prevention thing. Right, sure. And our hope is that through effective interventions and family counseling and individual counseling, hopefully we can avoid the child having to go to out-of-home care, because even though it's very important for some kids, sure. it's not for all kids. In the final analysis, I am sure that you have some wonderful success stories. If you can, recount a couple of them for us. Sure. We had one young man who left us several years ago, and after he left, he went into the Marines. Mm. And he did two tours in Afghanistan and Iraq, and he called me up when he got back, and he said, um, I want to present an award. I said, to who? Yeah. He said, to the board of directors. Oh, wow. And he came, I said, fine. He yeah. came into a board meeting, and what he did was he brought us a, a frame flag, a U.S. flag, and a picture of he and his dog. He was on the bomb sniffing oh. unit. And what he said was, the story behind it, was that every Marine gets to fly a flag in honor of someone every year when they're uh, um, in service, sure. and I didn't know that. Well, one year he flew it in honor of Optimus Youth Homes oh, wow. and Family Services, and he said, because you guys changed my life. Oh my God. My life. So we were remarkable. very, very proud of that. Any of your graduates come back to work for the organization? Yes, in fact, he was one of them. Oh, really? <laughs> Interesting, okay. Uh, I have a, uh, a woman who was in our foster care program who's actually right. been my CFO's administrative assistant for over 10 years now. She's gotten married since she's been with Fantastic. us. She has three kids. Fantastic. Um, because we believe if we're asking other people to employ our sure. kids, we ought to do the same ourselves. Can we get involved in any way, donations? volunteer work? Absolutely. Uh, we have a volunteer and mentoring program and we'd love people to get involved by calling us. We always need foster parents. I can uh, it's huge. It's very hard to be a foster parent. We need them. But let me give some information to our viewers. Uh, the telephone number will be on the screen, 323-443-3127. The website, of course, uh, oyhfs.org. Still Orlando, thank you so much for joining thank us. You, we Brad. appreciate it. My name is Brad Pomerantz. This is Tom Cable's Local Edition.